What's going on guys, I'm Danny, and thank you for checking out my channel, Blu-ray Dan. Now, in this video, I have another Blu-ray update for you guys. It's been a little bit over two weeks since my last one, and I've accumulated a good 30-something titles. I have a whole mess of regular Blu-rays, I have a couple 4Ks and a couple Steelbooks. So without waiting any longer, let's get right to this and show you guys what I got right now. First up, we have the movie called Kill Your Friends, starring Nicholas Holt. Now, this is a movie that I've been wanting to see for a long time, so I'm super, super excited to finally get it. I really love the artwork and the color, and I know that Best Buy has a slipcover for this, so gotta go hunt that one down. Next up, we have a title called A War. There's a quote on here that says, four stars, among the best war movies of all time. Next up, we have Touched with Fire, starring Katie Holmes. This is a pretty good movie. I do recommend you guys checking it out. And uh, yeah, look at that awesome slipcover right there. Really nice. Coming up next, we have Zootopia. Now, this is Disney's most recent Blu-ray release, and man, what a really fun movie. If you guys have not checked this one out, I highly recommend it. I did an unboxing slash movie review. I will link it right there, or there. I believe it's there. I will, I'm going to link it in a card right there. Next up, we have Gridlocked starring <laughs> a lot of random people, including Danny Glover. Next, we have a Clive Owen film called The Confirmation. It's also starring the kid from Midnight Special in there, so yeah. Coming up next, we have Miles Terror. Terror? Miles Terror? We have Miles Terror T again? We have Miles Teller, Anna Kendrick, and Brian Cranston in the movie Get a Job. Now, you know, it's nothing too amazing, but it's it's a fun watch. I mean, I love the cast. I mean, Anna Kendrick is so beautiful. <laughs> Next up, we have Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan Director's Cut. Really, really gorgeous artwork right there. This is one of the best movies in the franchise, so if you guys have not seen it, I definitely recommend it, if not for the slipcover alone. We have the very uh, hated and not liked Zoolander number 2. You know, it's it wasn't that bad, but, you know, it wasn't that great either. Next up, I have a few olive film titles that I want to show you guys. The first one is Cornbread, Earl, and Me. We have The Return of a Man Called Horse. Now, I have not seen the original A Man Called Horse, so I can't judge this one just yet, but I mean, it looks like a fun movie. So does the original. I have to pick that one up first. Finally, from Isle of Films, we have the movie Stagecoach. Now, this is a great Western movie. If you guys have not seen this one yet, I highly recommend it. I'm a big fan of Westerns. I've said that a bajillion times. Next, we have a movie called The Wave. Look at this slipcover, guys. Can you see that? Lenticular slipcover, man. This is not a prequel to The Fifth Wave. Thank God. I know everybody who's been wanting to ask that question. I'm sorry. I just deleted your comment before you even put it down. Next up, we have Midnight Special. Now, this is an underrated movie of the year. It's got a pretty decent cast as well. You got Michael Shannon, Joel Edgerton, Kristen Dunst, Adam Driver, and Sam Shepard. I definitely recommend you guys checking this one out. It's one of the more unique movies of the year. I went to see this movie at Union Square Theaters in New York City, and I went in there, just wanted to watch the movie, and I don't usually buy popcorn, but this time I was like, all right, let me get a little something. I traveled all the way to the city. Let's make a day of it. So I order a small popcorn and the guy's like, oh, you know, if you give 50 cents more, you'll get the medium. And I was like, uh, you know, all right, the movie's going to start. Just that's fine. Just take 50 cents more or whatever. So I give him the 50 cents more. and He's like, oh, you know what? But for another dollar, you can upgrade it to a large popcorn. And at this point, he was talking way too much. And the movie was getting closer and closer. It was about to start and I needed to get a seat. So I was like, all right, fine. Just that, that, take the extra dollar. Take the whatever. Just give me the popcorn. So I go in there and I'm sitting down. I'm all by myself sitting in this seat. And I got this huge popcorn, which I clearly can't finish by myself. And as I'm sitting there, somebody comes in, they ask me to stand up, they ask me to, you know, uh, stand up so they can get through to the end of the seat. The person winds up sitting directly next to me and his girlfriend after that. You guys want to know who that person was? The person was Paul Dano, guys. Paul Dano, the one day that Paul Dano chooses to sit next to me is the day that I'm sitting in New York City, sweating from the heat, with a massive bucket of popcorn that I could, like, I was fumbling and stumbling as I was trying to stand up and get up so he can get through. And I looked like a complete fool. I didn't even really talk to him because I wasn't 100% sure, but I was 99.9, .9, which was confirmed later on anyway because his girlfriend, I spoke to her on Twitter, and uh, she said that my popcorn skills were crazy, so... There you go. That's the story. But yeah, Midnight Special, unique movie, one of my top 10 movies of the year so far. Check it out. Next up, we have Sasha Baron Cohen in The Brothers Grimsby. Now, uh, I'm not the biggest fan of Sasha Baron Cohen. I just can't get into his movies. I mean, Borat was okay. Bruno was horrible and I didn't even see the dictator but I've been hearing a lot of good things about this one so I had to pick it up and I just I've been looking forward to it I've also heard a lot of crazy cringy things about this as well so we'll see how this one goes next up one of my favorites, if not my favorite movie of the year, we have the movie Eye in the Sky. It's a, it's a war film. It's a kind of a war film. There's a lot of dialogue and not so much action going on, but I cannot explain to you guys how intense this movie really is. I was truly on the edge of my seat the whole entire time, and by the end of it, I was just kind of sitting there numb. I truly... 100% recommend this movie to you. The release date is June 21st, so guys, please 
check this movie out. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is my number one movie of the year so far. If not number one, it's definitely in my top three. The next title that we have here is My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2. Now, this movie is getting a lot of hate for no reason at all. Honestly, I thought it was a great sequel to the original one, and it just has that feel good old school family movie feel. Try saying that 10 times fast. Next up we have Tina Fey in Whiskey Tango Foxtrot. Now this movie is based on a true story and you know I wasn't sure how Tina Fey was going to do but I mean I got to give her credit she added her little uh, little thing of comedy in there and the story itself like she did such a great job it was mixed perfectly with drama so yeah I mean she pulled it off she did a great great job you get Margot Ro Marco Robbie's in there. She's gorgeous too. But yeah, guys, everybody does a really good job in this one. I saw this in the theaters a few months back. And yeah, definitely recommend you guys checking this one out. I'm not sure if it's top 10 worthy, but I'd say maybe top 20. Next up, another movie that's in my top 10 for the year. We have 13 Hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. And wait a second, we also have the 13 Hours, Secret Soldiers of Benghazi, is a steelbook. I did an unboxing slash movie review for these uh, two right here. And uh, if I'm going to put this right here real quick, I'm going to let you guys know that you can check that video out right boop. I just plugged a card right there. You can click on that after this video. Check it out. It's bananas. It's not, it's not that, it's not so bananas, but it's a really good video. Next, we have another movie that's in my top 10 list so far this year. And this one is 10 Cloverfield Lane. And wait a second, what? The 10 Cloverfield Lane Steelbook also? Yeah, guys, I also did an unboxing and review for this. This one's going to be right boop there. Definitely when you're done watching this video and then the 13 hours video and uh, also the Zootopia video that I mentioned before. You click on that box right there. It'll bring it to my unboxing slash movie review for both of these bad boys. And yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Next up, we have an awesome, awesome pickup for you guys. We have the Zavi Steelbook for Deadpool. We get some glossy, we get some matte rugged feel to it. There's a lot of embossing on the name right there, the title. It is a gorgeous one. It's definitely the superior version. So, I mean, if you guys have a chance to pick this one up or the US one, I would recommend getting this one. Now, I know also, guys, all my Steelbooks, every time I show them, there's a thousand fingerprints on it. I tried my best to avoid that this time. I'm sorry if I offended you last time. I got a thousand comments about how people were crying and killing family members because they were so upset that I fingerprinted my steelbook up. So I'm sorry, guys. Next up, I have a couple 4K Ultra HD Blu-ray titles for you guys. <sighs> we have Star Trek and Star Trek Into Darkness. Now, guys, I mean, if you have seen the Blu-rays of this, I mean, you'll know that this right here is going to look gorgeous on 4K. I'm super excited to own them. This makes numbers 11 and 12 in my 4K collection. So, yeah, guys, definitely pick these up if you're a Star Trek fan. I don't know why I do voices like that. I'm... So sorry, guys. Now, my final batch here are going to be titles from Blu-raysforeveryone.com. I know you guys have heard me say that website a nice amount of times in the past. But before I go into showing you guys what I got, I just want to let you guys know that the discount code is back. So if you guys pick up two or more used Blu-rays and or slipcovers, you use the code Blu-ray Dan. There's no space in between. And you get 15% off. Not 12 like last time. 15% off on your purchase. So make sure you guys do that. I got the code back. I fought for it. It's back. It is good until June 19th. So that's coming up, guys. Use it now. But alright guys, so first up we have the movie Jarhead 3, The Siege. I wasn't the biggest fan of the first one, but I've been really wanting to rewatch it. So if I go rewatch the first one, I'm gonna get the second one. I had to have the third one. So yeah, Jarhead 3. Next we have a movie that I've really been wanting to see, but I missed it in theaters by like a day or two. And of course, that movie is Race. Now I've heard nothing but good things about this one, and yeah, I can't wait to put this in the machine and check it out. We have the underrated Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Now this is another one that I wanted to see in theaters, but missed my chance. I've heard some some really good things and I've heard some really bad things so I had to check it out for myself and yeah it was pretty decent. Next up we have Hail Caesar starring George Clooney and a plethora of other people that are pretty much not in the movie that much. You gotta love when they show everybody's face on the cover all the big stars and then nobody's really in it and uh, yeah guys this is another one that I just missed in theaters recently but yeah Hail Caesar. Next up we have the regular Blu-ray of Gods of Egypt. Yes it has some sloppy CGI and some sloppy editing at times but then there are other times where it has some really good CGI and some really good editing. The story wasn't that bad, it wasn't anything too mind-blowing, but Again, if you guys are going to rate this off of other people's opinions, don't do that. See it for yourself. It's not that bad. And the parts that look good look incredible on Blu-ray. Next up, we have Risen. I've heard a lot of bad things about this one, but, you know, I'm always down to watch everything once. I will let you guys know my opinion on it when I see it. The next title that we have here is London Has Fallen. It's truly just another mindless popcorn movie. Uh, the action's great. I mean, it's nothing mind-blowing, but it's, I don't know, again, what all the hate is about, guys. But it also comes with a really cool slipcover. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's shiny. It's a bow. 
jaws, the sides emboss on the spine. And yeah, just it's a pretty good movie. I can't wait to see it again. Next, we have Eddie the Eagle. This is a title that I've been wanting to see for a long time. I kept missing this one in theaters too. Once again, I missed it by a day. I'm also hearing that this is another feel-good movie, so really looking forward to checking this one out as well. Now, last but not least, we have another very underrated movie of the year, and this one is called Triple Nine. This has a big, big cast. Uh, again, not all of them are used to their potential, but the movie was pretty damn good. Yeah, I've seen stories like it. It's not the most original, but it's really not bad. Might even be in my top 10 of the year. Guys, definitely give this one a chance and check this out. I mean, that's, that's what I'm doing here. My opinion is to not always listen to everybody else's opinion, including mine when I say something's bad or good, and go and see the movie for yourself, because if I stopped and listened to everybody else's opinion, I wouldn't have gone to the movies and seen this one, and I would have just thought it was bad, and I would not have enjoyed it, and I mean, that would have been a damn shame. But alright guys, that is it for this video. I thank you so much for watching. As always, I have a couple questions for you guys. Of course, the first one's gonna be, what did you guys think of what I picked up? What are your opinions on people judging their opinions based off of other people's opinions? And yeah, have you guys picked any of these up already, and which ones will you be picking up when they are released? Eye in the sky! Pick up Eye in the sky! But alright guys, that is it for the questions. Once again, thank you so much. If you could please do me a favor and hit that like button and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment in the comment box down below. Please share this video to your family and friends. I would love it if you did that. And if you guys would subscribe to my channel, that would mean the world to me. I am about to hit 5,000 subscribers. If you guys would like to follow me outside of YouTube, you can follow me on Facebook and my Facebook group, Movie Craze. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and my official website, BluRayDan.com. Or you guys can check out my other YouTube channels, which is Old Legend Studios for Pranks and Sketches and slash or Legendverse for real-life superhero battles. But alright guys, that is it. Officially, the video is over. As always, guys, I'm Danny, and this is the Blu-ray Dan channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.